All right, you guys, here to check out how to make halftone lines here in After Effects. Now, this was inspired from my tutorials where I did this in Photoshop. If you want to check those out, I also going to leave a link in the description. Now, let's start with a new composition, and I'm going to go with this preset, rename it, and click OK. I'm going to drag and drop the video, right click on the video. Let's go to Transform and select Fit to Comp. Now, from here, we're going to create those halftone lines. So make sure to click somewhere here to deselect this layer. And I'm going to go and select the pen tool. And here I'm going to create a line. I'm going to press and hold shift and click on the other side as well. Now let's go to the fill. Click on the fill and click on the none. Click OK. And let's go to the stroke. Click on the stroke. Let's select the solid. Click OK. And I'm going to go to the stroke thickness and I'm going to increase it to 12. And then here you can change up the color. Make sure to go with black. Click OK. And then let's go to the effects and presets, type in Gaussian Blur. Drag and drop the Gaussian Blur on the shape layer. And here I'm going to increase the blurriness to 16. Now let's open up the shape layer. Uh, let's go to add. And let's select the repeater. Uh, let's go and open up the repeater. Here you can increase the copies. I'm going to go with like, for example, like 80. And now let's go to the transform repeater one, open it up. And here we got the position on a hundred. I'm going to decrease this to zero and let's go to the second value and increase it. So the more you increase it, the more distance is going to leave in between the lines. In my situation, I'm going to go with 18 and I'm going to collapse this. I right click here, go to new, select the adjustment layer. Well, let's go and rename this effects and let's go to the effects and presets, type in a threshold. Now let's go and drag and drop the threshold on the effects. So right now it's going to look something like this and you're going to need to decrease the threshold and check this out. It is going to open up the halftone lines. Now of course here you can experiment with the value. In my situation I'm going to go with 32 for example. And as you can see if you zoom in it kind of has this anti-aliasing in it. So what I'm going to do is go to effects, search for Gaussian blur, drag and drop it on the threshold. And I'm going to increase this to 8. So it's going to make it kind of blurry. Now let's go back to the effects and presets. Search for curves. And drag it under the Gaussian blur. And here we're going to increase the contrast quite a bit. And check this out. Now it is going to smoothen it out quite a bit. I'm also going to search for noise. And drag it under the curves. I'm going to add like 45%. Let's hit play. And it looks something like this. I also can make the lines wavy if you want like that. So let's go to the shape layer, open it up. Let's go to add, select the zigzag, open up the zigzag one and check this out here. You got the size and this is the sharp corner zigzag. And by the way, this looks pretty cool already. And if you want to make the lines with smooth waves, you can go here to the corner and change it to smooth. And now you can see it's kind of thick. Here we got the size. You can work on the size and decrease the size. And there you go, hit play. And that's how you make this halftone line effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.